here's a CPM network. Uh, activity times are in the bottom of each node and they are highlighted. We will compute earliest start time that an activity can be started and earliest time that an activity can be finished. These are can and then latest time that an activity must be started and latest time that an activity must be finished. Um, we start by um, our first activity one is the starting node or activity for the project so it's earliest time that it can be started uh, is a time period zero plus three uh, let's say weeks that it takes to complete it so that's three now that activity uh, must be completed before activities two and three can even begin so the earliest time that two can begin is three in, is in week three plus two we get five for activity three again earliest start time is three because one must be finished before it can begin three plus one is four for activity four there are two predecessors activities two and three must both be finished two at the earliest can be finished in week five so um, the earliest start time for activity four is week five the same thing for activity five both two and four three must be finished before five can begin so we pick the higher of the two five plus one it's six oh, um, five plus three over here is eight uh, activity six we pick the six from over here which is the earliest finish for activity five that becomes the earliest start time for activity six plus one makes earliest finish time for activity six to be seven weeks and now going forward between between eight or seven we pick eight plus one activity time we get nine so the earliest time that this, that this project can be finished is in week nine notice that we use in our forward pass pick the highest when um, you are facing two activities that must be finished before an activity can begin you pick the highest of the EF or earliest finish times now that uh, we have done our forward pass we can do our backward pass in our backward pass for the uh, finishing activity we pick the earliest finish time and we mark it to be the latest finish time for that activity that automatically makes that a critical activity because we can finish it in week nine weeks but we must finish it in nine weeks the nine minus one is eight and that's the latest time that that activity must be started so that the project is not delayed that eight becomes the latest finish time for the previous activity minus one we get seven that eight also becomes the latest finish time for activity four minus three we get five now coming uh, and uh, for this activity we get seven minus one we get six now coming back into node three uh, the choices between five or six uh, from its immediate successors so we pick the lower number five because activity four at the latest must be started in week five and this one at the latest must be started in week six so because um, four is more urgent to fit to uh, to starting it um, so 
three must accommodate both of those because it's a successor, a predecessor for them. So we choose for its latest finish time week five so that it will not delay activity four. So now five minus one is four. And over here by the same token we get five minus two is three. And coming back again we pick three minus three is zero. So we have completed our forward and backward pass. And let's remember that in our backward pass we pick the lowest. And now we're ready to do our uh, slack analysis. Slack is also called buffer or it's also called float. And we compute it by taking LF and subtracting from it EF or latest start time minus earliest start time. So this one is 0 and 0 and 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0. The critical path uh, is the, that path of activities that have the least slack, or in this case 0 slack, and that is activities 1, 2, 4, and 7. And let's recognize that time for the critical path is the duration of those activities, which is for activity 1 it's 3 weeks, for activity 2 it's 2 weeks, for activity 4 it's 3 weeks, and for activity 7 it's 1 week, which adds up to 9. We can also recognize that there are other paths through the network. For example, one path is 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. But the duration for that is the summation of the activities on that path, which is 3 plus 2 is 5, 6, 7, 8. Another path is uh, 1, 3, 4, 7. But the duration for it is 3, 4, 7, 8. And another path is 1, 3, 5, 6, 7. And the duration for it is 7 weeks. So notice that of all of these times that we computed, the critical path has the longest path through the network. So by definition, uh, the critical path is the longest path through the network. But it uh, tells us the earliest time that we can finish this project. Essentially, we cannot finish this project any earlier than nine weeks, given the amount of resources that we had planned to allocate to this uh, project. Uh, the next project will be, or the next video will be um, on PERT.